Do you ever want to give up? Do you ever just feel like quitting would be easier than continuing to fight? I think we've all been there, and I think it's the reason the movie The Grey resonated so deeply with me as I got a chance to see it. It's Liam Neeson's new movie, and recently, what is up with Liam Neeson? He's become like Mr. Action Star. Uh, movie after movie, I think it started with Taken, which is a phenomenal movie. He just has this way of embodying the person who knows what's going on and can do what it takes to make it happen. And it's no different uh, in the movie The Grey. Although I think this movie is a little bit deeper and a little bit more interesting than even some of the other movies he's done recently. It follows him as well as a group of um, other, I guess... Alaskans, although maybe they're transplants. I think they're working on a job in Alaska and they're traveling back and they run into problems. The airplane goes down and then how do they survive? Uh, how do they cope after that accident? What do they do to fight? And it's a really interesting look at human nature as each of the characters in a very real though metaphorical way fight to survive you know, make those decisions. Uh, there are wolves around them in these moments, and those wolves are, in the movie, literal, but again, very much metaphorical about the wolves we face every day. And though they seem like they're hunting us down, and they're after us, and they're, they're gonna get us, what do we do to find that resolve to continue to press on, to continue to survive, to continue to fight? What do you do? Who are you as a person? Where do you find your identity up on that screen in those moments? What would you do when faced with that situation? These are all the reasons I come away from this movie going, yeah, I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. I really came away thinking this meant something. And that's a big deal to me in going seeing a movie. Uh, as I left the theater, and by the way, the end of this movie is spectacular. It may be a little divisive. I'll warn you ahead of time. You may not like it. But I will tell you, I loved it, and it really gave me pause to think about what the movie was trying to say. Uh, and I love that feeling, just of pondering all that stuff as I'm leaving the theater. Let's talk about the movie stuff. The acting performances were great. Liam Neeson was amazing. And the surrounding characters, though I don't know any of their names, every last one of them I felt was um, not just competent, but really, really excellent. I bought the characters 100%. I felt for them. I felt with them. Um, the movie is edited very, very well, very tightly done, and uh, always felt like the momentum was heading in the right direction. You always knew where you were in the movie and, and what the stakes were and what was going on. If I had one complaint about the movie-making part of it, it would probably be with the CG. Uh, the wolves did not... It didn't. They didn't feel real to me in moments. Um... But I kind of forgive that because, again, I think they're built up to be more than wolves. They're built up to be tragedy, danger. They're built up to be obstacles and a very metaphorical look at how we face those in our own lives. I loved this movie. I think if you give it a chance, it's a movie uh, you will enjoy too. If you're a little bit squeamish, I, I would warn you that, that it is violent in some parts and, um, and extremely so. Uh, just just to kind of give you a heads up on that, but if that's something that you can get through, uh, I think there's a reward at the end, and I think that reward is looking at why do we fight? Why do we survive? Why do we live every day? How do we make that choice? And, uh, and answering those questions for ourselves, I think, is the most important part of seeing the gray.